Hello everybody and welcome back to Taylor's Water Camper Van. So today we're back to DIY jobs. And um there's one thing when we went away in the camper van that was really bugging me was the fact that I couldn't wash my hands and I couldn't get a hold of any bloody well, alcohol, you know, stuff that dries when you rub it. Which was every bloody wear in COVID. Now you can't even get a hold of it. <coughs> even a V and M. So I couldn't wash my hands, couldn't rinse or do the washing up, so we needed a sink. Now, um, camper van sinks, the ones that have the fold down thing for extra, you know, surface area, they're very expensive. But we had the silver bowl lying about um, that we'd actually used to do our washing up in, and I was like, oh. I wonder if we could turn it into a sink. So that's that's what we did. <laughs> yeah, we got a plug, and um, it's stainless steel, so we had to get a proper, strong, 40 mil uh, circular saw thing for the drill driver, uh, which, as you'll see, <laughs> was fun doing that. And um, yeah, then uh, I do a bit of botching, which is uh, uh, usual for this channel, isn't it? Um, but it works. <laughs> the sink works. The only problem is I didn't consider uh, was the fact that sinks come out with like a little lip that you you put the plug into, so it fl sits flat. But obviously this wasn't made of the sink, so it doesn't sit flat, and uh, a little bit of water stays in at the bottom. But not a problem. It doesn't bother us. But it works. <laughs> so let's get on with doing it. Got no patience, he's not waiting for me. Um, anyway, we're getting on with some jobs in the van. We didn't know what was happening to it. I'm sure I said about the crash and all that. Um, but now we know that we're keeping it, we can get on with some. What happened to the curtain here? Eh? It's come off. Oh. Oh, I pulled this bit of plastic out of it. Is it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Today we are going to put a sink in the kitchen. Sink, bowl, bowl, sink. That was the main problem last time. When we're camping, there's no, you know, nowhere to wash your hands, nowhere to wash dishes. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. Um, so for this, we just got this little bowl here. Um, which I don't know what it is. Just a little mixing bowl. Oh. <laughs> that's all you need, really. Uh, stainless steel. Um, if you, we want to figure out one of those camping ones, aren't we? But, you have the flat surfers over as well, but they're really expensive. Yeah. Takes up a lot of room as well. <laughs> so, I was hoping that this would be the right diameter. It is for the top part of it, but not for where the tube is supposed to be. And this is just a basic system at the moment. We've got a, like a, a thing the fitting for it, they'll go into just a, pipe. yeah, they'll just go into a, a, a water bottle or something, just for now. Just a storage container yeah. for now. There's no faucet or whatever, we'll just pour the water in as we need it. All we need is a sink and a bowl already. So this is, yeah, let's go on with it. Um, anyway, I'm going to drill loads of little holes through. Um, oh. Yeah, I couldn't find a permanent marker that works. You need the permanent. It does work, that pencil I to check. No. It's got some of it. Good enough. Stainless steel. Yeah. Need a punch. No. It's just not going to work. So we decided that we can't do it because stainless steel is a free hour. And it, every time we push it down to try and drill individual little mm -hmm. holes. Just slips. You have to get a metal 
We need one of these. That's sort of mild metal though, you need a proper metal one. But this is a 60mm one, you need a 40mm uh, 40 one. Uh, not the head again. Anyway, let's just... We're going to actually cut the hole for it in the tabletop there. Countertop. Um, for this, we actually... We've got this, which is the same diameter as that, so we can trace out... The lip isn't, the lip is like 11 and a half inches, but this is 10 inches, and that's where the diameter goes to of before the lip, so then the lip will hold it in place. Hello, Margaret. Whereabouts do you want it? Because you've got to remember, Mum's got to lean over and try and wash up as well. Do you reach that? We need to make a nice room here, it's possible. Mm -hmm. I've got it pretty much. The drill bit's good, though, isn't it? It's the main thing. Perfectly central now. Um, seven and a half centimetres from there, seven and a half from there, seven and a half centimetres from there. Oh, someone looked in there. Right, another little feel over there and see if you could wash up. Not that you do, but I'm just saying. But just <laughs> you threw away. Push coming too far. Yeah, you can do it. You just lean over. Mm. When the fire's not on, you can just lean like that. Mm. What else do you want it? Do you need this room for Yeah, important? you can't chop up over there, can you? <coughs> you back ache. That. Mm. Didn't it? Yeah. Quality drill right there. to one side. Mm. It's sprung to one side I think. Oh good. That's all right, isn't it? Mm. You have to look at me. Yeah it's not perfect but it's see I'm wondering if you could have that fit in the top there. If you cut it down a little bit. Mm. Cut that down a little bit, see? Yeah. Around. And then you can have it so it's slightly smaller to fit inside the bowl. And then a little hole in the middle and just pick it up so you've got spare storage. Yeah. On. See? That's worth keeping that bit. We can sand it all the way around, cut it a little bit shorter all the way around, yeah, sand right. it, yeah, and then it should drop into the same level as this. Yeah. We have actually got the appropriate drill bit now, hole saw. And this is a proper metal one, this is. So we can cut through metal with this. It was uh, something like five, six, seven pounds, something like that. <coughs> 40 uh, mil. These holes that we've cut though, as you can see, are bigger than 40 mil. I don't know what Dad was thinking, doing that one on the outside. <laughs> I don't know. It's back holiday Monday, so it's going to be busy. It might be a bit of noise. Um. Jesus Christ, they come up fast. I might just step out of this van, you know. I get 
run out of it instantly. Yeah, it comes with two, thankfully. But um let's hope this one doesn't break. All you plumbers out there are going to be getting like, <laughs> what's this guy doing, you know? He has no idea. Well, I don't. I haven't done anything. Kind of. But, um, get off an idea. Because what this needs is another part. It needs an like, overflow, like a uh, joint that goes around here and it seals it. Because, uh, obviously, we can't screw this down to the bottom of the sink as you see and then it goes to there because the thread so you need a bit in here obviously is to do with all the overflow stuff and what I'm doing I'm botching it of course because this is I'm not waiting for another part you know I need to get on with this so what I'm doing is I'm going to cut a square of this stud work, a circle of the stud work out at 60mm and then in the middle of that I will cut another one at 40mm so then <laughs> we have something to clamp our things down to ok you'll get it once they're done it all makes sense Cork, though, no. Had to do it from both sides. Okay, I think I've got to figure it out. Right, it's a little bit of wood here, 40 millimeter hole. Got all our gaskets and seals here. Oh, God, my hands are getting tired. Before you install this, goody, gotta put a bead of silicone around. Thank <laughs> you. 
hands get sore. Just bit another bead in there. I'm just getting rid of the outside bit that we don't want. But it is nice and thick under that rim. The only problem is it didn't sit flat. That's all to do with the sink. Right, so here's me. Grey water tank. <laughs> I've literally come up with a little, little botch attachment. This is just so I can screw this into there, this tube, and the other end of this tube will go into the bottom of the sink. And then uh, there's no chance of it spilling anywhere. Eventually, it will go out the side and into a separate tank. That's what Dad says, but maybe I was thinking we could have one underneath the van. Um, to store our grey water. This ain't very big, it's only 5 litres, but um, eventually yeah, we get a bigger tank, but this is just for now, because we can't afford to get a tap and everything at the moment. We're just putting in a basic sink. But yeah, it'll go down there. This will screw into here. Primitive, basic, but it works. We're gonna get all this, all this off with a uh, Stanley knife once it dries up. Right. I think that should probably have a bit more. Eventually we'll have a faucet in the corner here. But um for now we'll just pour our water in. Right, so the sink is all stuck down there, see. Solid. So I'm gonna test it now. Water here. There's no leaks. Doesn't seem to be dropping. I think the pipe there that leads to that bottle. Perfect, look at that. There of course is the problem of it not sitting flat. 
the fact that the uh, plug obviously isn't sitting flat. So this the last bit of water can't get out. Which is yeah, annoying, but it's all to do with that bowl, which is not obviously designed to be a sink. Right, so that's installing the sink done. Um, I've got to say, very happy with it. No leaks, even though I put that bit of bloody wood in, which I'm happy I did actually not do it. Do 60mm and then a 40mm hole for it, because having it that length allowed me to tighten it up because it was very hard to do. Now, if this was a 60mm circle, I wouldn't be able to tighten it up, which is good because it being very tight means there's not going to be any leaks. Um, effectively made a thread on it when I was doing that. Um, so yeah, it's working. It's working fine, and um, you know, I don't think Dad's even done a sink before. But um, okay, we should have got a plug or drain that didn't have an overflow system on it. In retrospect, but um, yeah, I thought Dad got one like that, but it doesn't really matter. We've solved the problem, and it works. Uh, eventually, that go into a grey water tank, um, which we will install in the future. But for now, it will just go into a, like a, a grey water bottle of some kind. Um, I've got one plastic one that I put under there, which is about uh, 15 litres, I think. Um, so that will that'll be more than enough, really. And then, yeah, eventually we get our little faucet. But for now, basic little sink that we can wash our hands in and do a few dishes in, which is perfect, really. Um, okay, so hope you all enjoyed. Like. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.